Hello, I'm Carl Rollin with Shoreline Products. Uh, this is the first in a series of videos that we're going to do. This is our AccuPro VMC mill and our state-of-the-art Masso touch control. So we're going to start from scratch. You just receive this machine with a controller. You've got it hooked up. Um, the first thing you're going to do is plug in the USB that came with your controller into the USB port, which is right here. Okay. And the power button is right under here. You just push the power button on, push the e-stop in, and you wait for the controller to come up. Once the controller comes up, you just click the e-stop off and the e-stop stops flashing. Okay, the password when you get your controller is going to be lowercase s p. Just hit enter and that goes away. The next thing you want to do is home out your machine. Okay, so before we home it, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your axis are all jogging in the correct direction. So you're already on the jog page. You can go to continuous and it'll flash red when it's on continuous. We'll go Z down, Z minus, Z plus is up. Okay, X minus is the tool moving that way, your table moving to the right, so that's correct. Y minus is the tool moving towards you or the table moving away. So right now, all three axes are moving in the correct direction, okay? Okay, what you're gonna do is home it now, all right, the center, button right here it says home you want to push on it and hold it for five to seven seconds and then when you let go your machine should home out okay if at any point an axis is moving in the wrong direction you just hit the e stop or the feed hold and that'll stop the machine from moving uh, the parameters should all be set so that shouldn't be a problem And then our A axis, there we go. Okay, so it'll always home out Z first, Y second, X third, and then if you have a fourth axis, it'll do the A axis last, okay? Um, Masso sends out updates on a regular basis for their software. So right now I'm gonna show you how to reload your software since it's something you're gonna end up doing anyhow. Okay, so we're gonna turn this off again. Okay, when you get the software, it'll be in an email. Okay, you just download the new software onto your flash drive. There's a file on the flash drive that says Masso. You download it into the Masso file, and then you put this back in your controller. Okay, you turn it on, turn on the controller, and then while it's booting up, you just tap the screen up here, and what comes up is your software screen. This is all the different software that's on the USB right now. You just tap on the one you want. This has both laser, lathe mill and plasma on it. We're gonna go with the 4-axis mill software. Tap it once, hit enter. The bar will show the, show the, pro, the software loading up. Okay, and once it's loaded, it tells you to hit escape. Hit escape. And it's going to reboot the computer. So you want to push your e-stop in. It'll reboot. Okay, and right now your new software is in. You turn the e-stop off again. Sometimes when uh, you get a software upgrade from Masso, your password won't work. So the Masso password is capital HTG. So if you punch in your password, and it says wrong password, try again. Then you're gonna to have to punch in the Masso password. So you get this, change this to capitals, punch in H, T, G, and then hit the change password. Okay, and now when you hit enter, it'll allow you to put in your password. So the password that comes with it is lowercase s, sorry, lowercase sp, confirm your password. 
P, hit OK. Okay, so it took that. Um, now when I go to the F1 screen, again, you're gonna have to punch in uppercase HTG, click the change password, okay, and then put in the password you want. For us, when you get your machine, the password for the F1 page is gonna be 3235. 3235. And it'll say password matched. Okay, so now we can get into both the settings screen and the regular screen. Okay, we're gonna to go to the F1 screen. Right now, none of your settings are in the machine. On the same flash drive, there's a settings file that comes with your machine. Go to the general settings, double click on save and load, and click on load from file, okay? So that just loaded all the settings for your access direction, homing, everything. Okay, and then it's telling you to hit the reboot. So you just click on reboot. And now your machine will reboot again. All the settings are in it. And we should be able to home it out. This is how your machine should be when you get it. Okay, so I'm gonna push in the e-stop, click it off. Password, lowercase, SP, enter. Now I'm gonna home out the machine again. Okay, and all access just homed out.